Asthma and allergy occurs as a result of derailment in immunity and its incidence is increasing in the recent past. We all know the immune system has two major pathways. One is pro-inflammatory pathway or defense activity mediated through omega-6 and essential fat. Second is anti-inflammation or repair and healing mediated through omega-3 fat. Most of the medications we prescribe for inflammatory disease like allergy, pain relief, etc. They reduce inflammation by blocking the omega-6 mediated inflammatory pathway. As these two pathways work parallelly and competing with each other at cellular level, the medications which we use to reduce inflammation by blocking the omega-6 pathways block the healing and anti-inflammatory pathway too. The reason for poor wound healing in case of prolonged use of painkillers is the same. Human body has evolved genetically to function optimally when the omega-3 and 6 fat are in the equal proportion. Studies show that in our modern diet omega-6 fat is too high and omega-3 fat is too low. This changes the ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 fat at cell level promoting inflammation leading to inflammatory diseases like asthma and allergy. Excess fat accumulation in the body as overweight and obesity due to sedentary life and high calorie food further increases inflammation and the intensity is more if the excess fat is in the form of omega-6 and trans fat. Human body considers anything other than a nutrient and any nutrient in excess quantity as a toxin. When any substance comes in contact with our skin, mucous membrane, tissue or cell, the immune system will screen it and if not needed for the nutrition, mark it as toxin or foreign and invite measures to dispose it of. In the recent past, there has been an increase in the incidence of allergic disorders, including asthma in all age groups, especially in children. Asthma and allergy occurs as a result of derailment in our immunity. It can be a localized reaction like sneezing, nasal block, asthma, itching or a generalized reaction involving the blood vessels with a fall in blood pressure as in anaphylaxis. Skin and mucous membrane are most commonly affected as there is a high concentration of immune cells close to these natural barriers or the boundaries of the body. Human body considers anything other than a nutrient and any nutrient in excess quantity as a toxin. When any substance comes in contact with our skin, mucous membrane, tissue or cell, the immune system will screen it and if not needed for the nutrition, mark it as a toxin or foreign and invite measures to dispose it of. In the recent past, there has been an increase in the incidence of allergic disorders, including asthma, in all age groups, including children. Why? Globalization and improvement in the transport gave us access to so many food crops grown in different parts of the world. The Green Revolution has changed the nature and chemical composition of many food crops and increase the pesticide and weedicide residues in food and drinking water. Processing and adding taste enhances to food to make it tasty, attractive and increase the shelf life exposes our intestine and mucosa 
to many more chemicals which are absorbed into our blood and reaching each cell of our body. Factories and vehicle fumes pollute the air we breathe. Use of pharmaceutical drugs as medication are also on rise, which also contribute to the increase in the allergic disorders. Each medication contains excipients other than the active ingredient, which may go up to or above 10 in many oral medications. These excipients in the medicine also play a role in stressing our immune system and excretory organs. The antibiotics as medication and preservatives in food and medications make, the, make changes in the microbial flora. Microbiome of our body plays a major role in modulating our immune system, which is damaged with antibiotics cleansing agents and preservatives. Perfumes and air fresheners aggravate the workload of the respiratory mucosa related immune system. Cosmetics and body care products and the chemicals on cloth, footwear, etc. also increases the stress on the immune system. All these factors increase the workload of the immune system and can contribute to the development of asthma and allergy. How cell activation treatment help to overcome allergic disorders? Cell activation program is basically a clinically monitored lifestyle optimization module. In the cell activation program for asthma and allergy, optimized nutrient compositions as food, drink and skin care help to balance the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory activities of the immune system by correcting the omega-3 to 6 fat balance. Optimized nutrient composition support reduces the number of substances that enter our body through food, medications, cosmetics and body care while ensuring all nutrients for repair and regeneration of cells in the correct proportion. This reduces the workload and stress of the immune system and help the immune system related tissue to have rest and regain health. Optimized nutrient food and body care is free from any added color, preservatives or other additives and help to reduce allergens exposure and stress on the immune system while ensuring nutrients at the optimal proportion to repair and regeneration of damaged cells. Optimized nutrient food has high omega-3 content and help to regain balance of the immune system. Oxyflux, a gentle activity pattern, improves circulation, nutrient availability to cell and metabolic waste removal. Oxyflux activity helps to burn out the excess omega-6 fat in the adipose tissue and restore the omega-3 to 6 balance. This helps to restore the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory activities and help to avoid an exaggerated response to an allergen. Before starting CAP, blood is tested to find out the allergens and extent of allergy by checking the IgE and other allergy markers. While on cell activation support, it is easy to identify the allergens which are not identified the blood test or skin test. CAP is basically a lifestyle correction program and those patients on medication for lifestyle disease like diabetes, hypertension, arthritis, heart disease, etc. can reduce or stop medications. Medications increase the workload on the immune system and can act as allergens and stopping such medications, especially those on long-term use for lifestyle diseases like diabetes, hypertension, etc. will make recovery from allergies easy. Most of the allergy and asthma patients depend on anti-inflammatory steroids for symptomatic relief. 
steroid hormones promote fat accumulation weight gain and reduce bone mass making the patient prone for obesity associated health issues and fractures most of the anti allergic medication work by blocking the omega 6 mediated pro inflammatory pathway in cell activation treatment by modulating diet and activity we reduce the pro inflammatory omega 6 fat in the body at cell level and increase the omega 3 fat the natural anti inflammatory or healing and recovery mediator of the body through optimal nutrition and physical activity with the cell activation treatment we can taper off the steroids and other allergic medications gradually with clinical improvement